what we found is when it comes to reputation, when you're getting screened online and someone's looking you up, because how many people here have Googled someone else? <laughs> What's really interesting is, <laughs> yeah, I mean everybody, it's your line to say that. What's interesting is when people look up other people, like it's a psychology thing, you're like, you're looking at that information and forming an opinion and, and a real opinion. And when you ask someone, well, what about your results? Do you think that would be the right information to form the right opinion? Oh, no, not me. But it's like, but that's what, that's what people are doing for you in the same way you're doing for other people. And most people aren't represented, right? They fall into one of three categories. The first is a negative category. It's a negative <laughs> I use this as an example because most people think when it comes to like negative reputation online, it's this, right? You did something really stupid and avoidable and preventative uh, or preventable. Um, what I'll show you, that's actually, it's not always bad decisions and poor judgment that leads to this category, right? And, I, and I'll get into really specific examples. But obviously, you could really hurt your chances right off the bat, right? The second is really common, the irrelevant category. You know, you don't find out that I graduated from a great school and I won this award, you find out I played soccer in high school. Or that I used to work at this company even though I have my own company now, right? It's, it's a failed opportunity, it may not be hurting you, but it is a failed opportunity to impress, right? That's what 